miss the test of a straight life. I miss the conversation. I'm searching for the sun tonight. I'm changing the love station. Everyone, so first when I compete in Vex IQ, I um, quickly um, understand uh, the very big problem is our auto code. At first, we uh, don't use any garo uh, um, code, so um, the, our robot just cannot do the uh, auto very well. So I make this code to help it can driving straight. So uh, at first we convert the inch into centimeters because it's very common in our countries. This the centimeters when the robot uh, will turn one make one turn. So in our curve we have four parameters. First is the distance is the distance you want the robot to move. Second is the velocity uh, you want the robot to move fast or slow. The third is the KP. It's the proportional gain and as you guys usually call it as PID. Uh, so uh, you guys have to uh, test uh, many times to find the exact number that for the robot. So I recommend it from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. Uh, so first uh, when you um, for this um, code you want to reset the international sensors to zero and you want to reset the model position second i'm gonna determine driving direction for example when the distance is negative uh, we're gonna drive backward and when it's positive we're gonna drive forward the next one is a convert target distance centimeters to wheel rotation um, i have already s said about this so uh, if you are uh, using inches uh, you can skip this uh, step second is a small angle tolerance to ignore tiny gyro noisy so uh, the dead band is equal to one and uh, we're gonna set the limit maximum tuning correction as the ratio of base speed uh, the max correction factor of our code is 0 0.4 and uh, the main driving loop is while a uh, double left position uh, APS is a uh, uh, double left position is equal to APS of left mo position decrease and left right motor position is equal to APS right position decrease and uh, the average decrease is left motor position plus right right motor position and we're gonna divide it to two and not by two so if the average decrease is bigger or equal to the target decrease then we'll set the motor to break and uh, if the heading operational rotation in decrease and the double arrow is equal to zero minus the heading next is the proportional correction value if the turn equals zero if aps of times arrow is bigger or equal to dead band degrees so the turn is equal to arrow times kp next is the base forward and backward speed so the base speed is equal to velocity times direction uh, next we want a limited uh, correction so the robot does not oscillate the uh, max correction is equal to abs of base speed times to max correction factors uh, if turn is bigger than max correction so times turn equals max correction if turn is smaller than max correction is negative times this turn equals to negative max correction so left speed is equal to base plus turn and right motor speed is equal to base speed minus turn so if uh, left motor speed is bigger than 100 and the left speed gonna be 100 if left motor speed 
is smaller than negative 100 so the left speed gonna be negative 100 if the right speed is bigger than 100 and the right motor speed gonna be 100 and uh, if the right motor speed is uh, smaller than negative 100 and the right motor speed gonna be negative 100 next we're gonna drive the motor with the correction speed so we're gonna move the left motor speed and the right motor speed so we're gonna set the small delays for stable cur control loop so we're gonna wait like 10 milliseconds so um, the last step is stop motor at the end if required so if motor stop then the left motor stop and right motor stop is an hour good thanks for listening